I've got one that can see. Logic before authority. Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. And in this video, I'm going to do a very specific, not too long, very specific video about this. What you're looking at are is a a missile, um, well, I said missile, a rocket that was launched uh, off the coast of Virginia in the United States back in the uh, summer of 2020, you know, right after the whole uh, big P kind of rolled out. Yeah. And it has these on them, and some of you have seen this, okay? It has a, a rider on a white horse with a bow, and uh, on the logo itself it shows a couple of crowns, as you can see right here. And over here, it's a rider on a red horse with a sword or a weapon. And it's a, and then you can see some swords uh, right down here as well. I'll show you those a little closer here in a moment. And it says, our time has come. So a white horse and a red horse, um, very specifically drawn, the white horse with the crown on the head of the white rider and the bow and then here we go with the red horse uh, looking like he's going out to conquer and to conquer now what what is this okay well it's very complicated but I'm gonna keep it short and to the point in this video okay you may I've heard me speak about this once before or something, but there are throughout history a lot of zombie movies that have been made. Here they are, and this is not a complete list, but it's a pretty good list probably. Uh, starting out back at, well, the invention of television. And uh, some of the first movies they ever made, period, were zombie movies. And uh, you can go down the list. This is by year, starting back at 1919, 1932, 1934, 36, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 43, 43, 44, 45. You know, every year and sometimes multiples in a year. Keeping this concept in the minds of people awake throughout the entire last century am I right now why are people that fascinated with the undead okay well that's movies this is uh, zombies in television these are television uh, things instead of films uh, television series and shows and so on and these are uh, a list of about 46 over the years, and this is an incomplete list as well. Um, but, you know, here's more of the same thing. And then we've got zombie video games. Yeah, zombie video games. Seven Days to Die. Uh, alive Forever. All Zombies Must Die. Alone in the Dark, Area 51, Beast Busters. This is alphabetical and we're in the A's. Going into the B's. Blood Drive, Burn, Zombie Burn, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Zombie Mode. Most of your video games out there have a zombie mode. And actually one of you guys informed me of that. Um, so I imagine this is an incomplete list as well, but... Here we keep going. We're in the seas. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty, it looks like, has a zombie mode. Uh, Call of Duty, Carnival, Carrier, Cataclysm, City of the Dead, Dark Watch, Days Gone, Dark Island, and, and the list I'm just skipping through here. 
Uh, we're in the D's. Let's see if we can get down the way here. Hunter infected. Infected? Infected with what? What do you reckon? How many of these do you suspect that combine zombies with that? Or some form of that? There's a lot. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of them. I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot. Uh, so, as you can see, there's a lot. Plague Incorporated. Possession. And we all know the more uh, recent ones, which we should see on here, but I just haven't noticed them. The Walking Dead, of course. Yep. Uh, in that video game, World War Z video game. And this is video games, okay? And let's finish the list. Zombies, 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 zombies. Got a bunch of Zs down here. And, okay, so we're down to the bottom of the list. All right, what's next? Comic books. And these are four categories. Movies, TV shows, video games, comic books. And we all know there's more categories of media and such that these exist in as well. So zombies and comics. Um, so we got them alphabetical order here. Okay. Um, you know, everything you can think of. Empire of the Dead. Escape of the Living Dead. Fright Night. Uh, Solomon Grundy. Um, the Haunt of Fear, Jesus Hates Zombies, Blasphemy, um, Last Blood, List of 30 Days of Night Comics, here we are over in the Z's on this side, Zombie This, Zombie That, Zombie Everything, The Walking Dead, of course, again in comic books, as well as everything else, and this doesn't even show for instance, like with, like with this, like movies and TV stuff and series. I don't even think this includes series. And how many Walking Dead episodes were there? An enormous amount. You know, it's like, it's like The Simpsons. No matter if anybody's watching or not, they're going to keep pushing it. Right? Right? How long has The Simpsons been on the air? Why? Is it possible that at some point the ratings didn't go down? Or is Homer and Bart so funny that there's other reasons, aren't there, why they're still on? Same reasons why this stuff is still on. They're delivering programming. What? Yeah, programming, you know. Tell a vision. And what vision are they telling? Programming that the elites want us to believe is real in our reality. They actually call it programming, don't they? Yep. Yes, indeed. You can get any kind of programming you want. You just change the channels. So, how does that tie to this? Well, when did this go up again? Right after the, the the white horse started running. Who's the rider of the white horse? I suspect the rider of the white horse was in the white house. He has Apollo all over his apartment and images of horses. Here, let me show you. I actually shared it. Hang on a second. Okay, here we are on my, uh, my YouTube page. Here, right? Okay. And on my community page, you see I have the videos page, which has all my videos, right? You have playlist and you have a community page. The community page is where I can share things with you, like videos from other creators and images and so on. Like this guy over here is 
discovered something that he's not getting nearly the attention for that he should have. Go check this guy out and what he has discovered. I've been watching him for about a year. And he, believe it or not, he's still only got about, I don't know, a couple thousand, a few thousand subscribers. But we're here to talk about this. Someone thinks they are the rider of the white horse. Are these images, um, excuse me, they are from the 66-foot penthouse of Trump, the gold-laden penthouse. Okay, number one, let's open that. Number one, Apollo in chariot driving white horses. This is on the roof, the mural in the roof of Trump's apartment in his Trump Tower, right? In the mural, it shows a man in a chariot driving a set of white horses. You know, and there's up in the clouds, they're gods. Okay? Well, that's just one, so that's nothing, right? Here's a painting that's on his wall. And this is another... The, another image of angels driving a team of white horses on the ground. The angels were here and here and back here, and there's also some people walking. But another set of another team of white horses with angels or deities or gods flying above, right? And here is Apollo, a statue of Apollo himself. This is well known and recognized to be a statue of Apollo in Trump's penthouse. And you have the Trump coat of arms over here too, which I've explained in detail before. Reaching through time and through water and catching the tip of the spear is what that's symbolizing. And on the little dresser, that sits in this room somewhere. Uh, anyways, in this in the same room, there's this picture. Picture of his son in an Apollo era um, astronaut outfit. Yep, Apollo. On the left. But you can't see it here. Let me see if I can open it up. So you can see it. Nope. Just refreshed it. So on the left, it actually has a picture of his uh, so-called wife um, in uh, in Hawaii. Why Hawaii is uh, interesting because it's beside this is because Apollo Valley is in Hawaii up near the top of Monarchy Volcano where they filmed some of the moon landing footage. Did you say something? I thought I heard somebody say, what did he say? Filmed the moon landing? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so all this stuff is pointing to this guy. Here he is again with his team of horses above his head believes he is playing the role, at least playing a role, if he doesn't have grander ideas in his head about the fact that he is Apollo, the bringer of death and plagues and the bringer of healing, right? And I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Casey over at Enter the Stars because he's done some work on this too. And uh, I've seen some of his the other day, and I just had to bring some of this back up. So why is this relevant? Okay. So we have this going on, okay, with this guy. And we have this going on with these guys. Right? They put these up. Now, what do you reckon is in here? It's magic. No, literally. Technology is magic. Okay. 
just like I am talking to you right now in Australia, because I know you guys are out there, and I got one of your emails, and I'm working on some little bit of content based on a video you put out that had a little bit of my content in it. Uh, but y'all guys are listening in Australia, you're listening in Japan, you're listening in all over the world to my voice right now. That is magic. It is also technology. Right? Okay. And so what kind of magic technology do you reckon is in here when they're showing us our time has come and they're talking about Revelations? Revelation 6. Exactly. They're showing us the images and symbolism of Revelation 6. And uh, you can see the crown down here better now. See the crown and the bow. And of course the crown here on the head as well. And here we go with the swords. And the rider on the red horse. Our time has come. He looks angry, don't he? So what kind of technology is in these satellites? Well, I think it's the cousin. The cousin to what I'm going to show you in just a second. But you can also get your white horse mask to wear if you want. Available on the internet. Just the way the stuff weaves itself backwards and forth is incredible. So what is this? This is SpaceX's Starlink. What? Did I hear somebody say something? Did I hear you think something? Oh, Elon, he's a he's our good guy. He's a big, he's a, the only billionaire that's on our Oh, wait a minute, that's two. There's Trump and there's uh, Elon. Those two billionaires that hang out with all the other billionaires uh, are on the good side. They're the white hats, right? They're coming to save us, right? Just like Trump saved us a couple of years ago, right? He was telling us, don't take the... Oh, wait. That's not what he said. He said, you got to get your, didn't he? Didn't he? If you're still confused, you need to wake up. So here's Elon. And of course, Elon is just the, the face of this, just like Trump is the face or was the face and will be the face again. Just like I've been telling you for years. Even before he left, I told you he'd be back, didn't I? And what's happening? He's coming back. Now, how would I have known that? Hmm. Weird, ain't it? So here's Starlink. All these little white dots are supposedly little satellites <coughs> magically floating through the air above our heads in the low heavens. And, yes, I know they've got it wrapped on a ball here, but uh, let's look at it here. They've got all these things, and they're all moving up and down. And right here is a, n a new train that has been launched that has not been up long enough in order for it to separate. When they first launched them, supposedly they're in a long line, and we, some of us have seen them in the in the heavens coming across and so they've got some kind of technology whether whatever it is they've got technology to hang in the heavens now the last time i showed you this map to this to this time something has changed hasn't it what's well, changed of course many of you see it in your you have your hand over your mouth because it's freaky. They've got different areas gridded in cubes or hexagram, I guess you'd call it. But they're cubes, really. Individual cubes. 
So if I draw the line from here to here, back up over here, then come back to here, to the corner of the corner, the corner of the cube, and come down. You say, well, that ain't no cube. Do you know what honeycomb looks like? Honeycomb is an actual cube. Bees build, yes, they look like this if you look at one side. But if you take a flashlight and shine it through honeycomb, you will see that the bees build in a complete other side to this that makes an exact honeycomb. I mean, excuse me, an exact, exact cubes. Every one of these, if you look at this like it's honeycomb, would have these lines that I'm telling you coming here, here, and down like that. Same thing on every one of them here, here, and down like that. That's how bees build it. It's cubes. It's considered to be the strongest construction method on earth. And what do they do? They study nature and then copy it. Right? That's how all achievements that they have done have been accomplished. By studying nature and copying it. That's right. That's exactly how it's done. The system that they're copying here for this whole thing is a toroidal field shaped like an apple. And all of these are flowing exactly the same as a toroidal field in the air and in the heavens. All of these satellites are following exactly the flow of a toroidal field. Yep. Now, let's get more to the point. What exactly is going on here? Okay. Here you are down in Australia. Y'all guys can get a look at yourself down there. They've got you covered too. So you can have fast internet too. Apparently we need faster than what I'm doing right now. Which does everything I need to do. But we all need faster. You know, even countries that are like you know, our enemy like Russia, supposedly. They let Elon fly his satellites over them, too. They like him. They say, we like Elon, but the rest of those people are our enemy. And the guys down in in uh, the Middle East, all these countries, they like Elon, too. They let him fly all his satellites right above their heads. It's like... It's like the whole world got together and, and worked it out so that this would be okay. Oh, wait. They did. They did. But you may say, well, that's this isn't one of Elon's maps. He didn't put these hexagons and cubes and stuff on here. He, he didn't do that. Uh, oh, wait. Here is uh, Starlink.com forward slash map. This is Elon's map on Starlink.com. And let's go in a little closer on here, say on the coast. Oh, look. It's hexagons and cubes again. Huh? I could have swore I heard something that time. Yep. Hexagons and cubes again. You know, if you wanted to build the most, the, the strongest, most powerful, most encapsulating prison that was invisible in the world, um, I think it would look something like this. Wait, no, I'll take that back, I'm sorry. Exactly like this. Yeah. See, in the... In the light blue area, you're already in. The dark blue area, eh, you, your walls around your invisible prison will be finished very shortly. Very, very. Don't call and complain that your prison walls 
ain't up yet. They don't want to hear that. You get them soon enough. See, most of the out here is all available right now. And most of the coast is all all available. They almost got everybody in the prison. But then why put everybody in this prison? What is it that's uh, going on here? Or what could possibly be going on here? Well, I think it has something to do with these guys. You see, the the NRL is the same people that works with Elon to launch his stuff. Isn't that interesting? They call it's you know it's the the space force and uh, the uh, national reconnaissance and uh, you know the military, but they're putting it up there. Not it's not for military use. It's not to hurt nobody, to imprison nobody, to kill nobody. Oh wait, actually it is, unfortunately. But you need to be awake and aware of this. That this is what they're doing. And. Honestly. I know that this is going to happen one day. Not too far in the future. And. I mean. They don't have to take away our. Pew pew. If they can get us to kill each other, right? Let's see what it says. Hang on. It didn't say they're going to kill us, did it? Well, let's look. And when he, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set, on, set thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. Now many of you know that I told you and showed you ahead of time that the that the great reset was coming that a reset was coming and then I told you that the white horse was in the gate and that the white horse was running and I explained in detail and it's still on my channel you can go back and look at it in detail what the white horse is and then I said the red horse, the signs of the red horse were coming and showing its face. And that they were putting out symbolism and the same exact things that let me know what they're doing. And of course, we've got another horse that's being loaded in the stall right now. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. This is talking about food shortages, my people. This is something that most of us can prepare in some way or another. The way that we prepared for the red horse was not participating with the white horse and getting the... Uh, the arrow shot into your arm from the bow of the rider of the white horse not getting pierced a stick a prick a scar of servitude ring a bell to anyone 
And of course, we have another horse that's coming. The pale horse. And we'll be talking about him in the coming days, I'm sure. So, I've shown you white horse with a crown and a bow. And this is technology they're shooting into the heavens. Magic. Red horse with this great sword causing them to kill each other. Meaning the people who bought this and took the arrow in the arm are likely going to be under the control and the spell of the magician and their new God. Because once your DNA is altered and only through the grace of God can that be avoided if you've taken it. And I'd be praying night and day if you made that mistake or got forced into it. But no matter what you do, don't go back and take the software upgrades. You know, the software boosters. Yeah, don't go do that. I put these videos out not to scare you, but to make you aware, to make you intelligent, so that maybe you can share this video with other people, so that maybe we can save just a few more. You see, for some of us, we're already saved. And no matter the outcome of what happens, we still win. But not everybody has crossed that fence yet, have they? But we do have to, until the time comes, go through all of this. And being aware of it and being prepared for it, thinking it through, not doing anything emotional. You don't base your actions on emotions. If you're freaking out, that's not the time to make a decision as to what to do about this. Or even this. And yes, I'm sure we're probably going to get a black horse on something very soon here. Start showing up the symbolism. But right now, this is the ones, these are the ones that play. Let's see, I also shared over here the other day as well. Let me back this up. Let's see here. That one, uh, that one. If you haven't seen that, check that out too. I think he's doing okay, but it's our brother that has been teaching us about the giant ancient trees. Uh, oh yeah, this one. <coughs> Red horse with a corona around the head that looked like uh, quivers, arrows around the head, riding the red horse. And then, of course, we had the red horse of the forever purge with the American flag on it. And then the red horse that I've been showing you here. The red horses. This one just came out like in the last week so let's see I click that and it might show me something 
See if it opens it up a little bigger. Mm, a little bit. Yep. So, I hope that you can share this with a few people that will have open mind and maybe listen and understand what's coming so that they can take proper steps in their life in order to deal with what potentially could come. Is it going to be the same everywhere? Well, no, of course not. Will there be areas that will be more intense? Absolutely. The bigger the city you the bigger the city you are in, probably the more danger you are in. I don't live in a big city. I live in a small you can barely even call it a town, but I am along the coast on the east coast. Although I'm not sure where I'm going to be because I'm still in a I got to be out of here situation. They extended me again last month, but this month I'm running out of days again and I still don't have anywhere to go. Prices were like 15, 1600 a month, which is double what was I was paying a year or two ago. But now they're jumping 18 to over 2000 for just a one or a two bedroom kind of thing. Completely insane. I'll keep y'all guys updated, and if I end up needing your help, I will come and ask. But for the moment, for the moment, at least until I know what I'm going to do, I'm okay. I love you guys, and I hope this information is helpful and not harmful in any way. Our Father in Heaven loves you. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.